Hey guys, welcome to your next project. In this project, we'll be building a number guessing game. Okay, it's not the funnest game in the world, but I think it will give you some good experience with changing and keeping track of values, uh, working with the DOM and structuring things in, in your application. So basically, we just need to guess a number between a certain range, okay? and we can define this range within our application. I have it between one and 10, and we can go ahead and enter a guess. So I'll say two and submit. And it's going to tell us that whatever number we put in is not correct. And we have a certain number of guesses left, which we can also change within our application. So let's try three submit. OK, three is not correct. We have one guesses left. If we do four submit, sorry that the game is over and it gives us the correct answer, which was seven. All right. And we can choose to play again. Now we can't enter anymore. And this is this kind of stuff. It may seem little that we can't enter a number again, but this is very important because it, it adds to um, just the user experience and, and just just making it clear on what the user is supposed to do. So we click play again. It's going to reset. We now have three more guesses. So let's try again. I'm going to try until I actually guess it right. Say three. Sorry, I think it was seven. Let's try again. One, two, three. Three is correct. All right, so we got it on the last try. And you can see that we're we're also doing the red if it's wrong, and then if it's correct, everything is green. So another thing to to recognize that may seem really small, but it's important for user experience. All right, now as far as a fr uh, CSS framework, we're using Skeleton, which is a, a very, very bare bones framework. So there's not a lot of classes that the user interface will take us uh, a couple minutes to create. It's very, very simple, uh, very bare bones. And the reason I'm, I'm choosing to use different CSS frameworks here and there is because you're going to work with different UIs. Um, I know this isn't a, an HTML and CSS course, but you're going to be working with with different interfaces. So it's good to, to switch it up. You know, I don't want to always use Bootstrap because you're not you're not always going to going to be using that when you're in the field and you're you know, you're actually working as a JavaScript developer. You're going to work with all types of weird stuff, custom interfaces. So it's good to switch it up. So we'll be using Skeleton in this in this uh, project. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to get started on the UI. Like I said, it's going to be very, very simple. This is the website for Skeleton. If you want to check it out, uh, it's a dead simple, responsive boilerplate. It's not even really called a framework, but it just makes things look a little better. Buttons and input fields and so on. Um, now, I'm not going to download it and include it in the file structure. I'm just going to use the CDN. So I'm actually going to search for Skeleton CDN. And we're going to click on the um, cdnjs.com link right here. And we're going to just use this CSS link. All right, so let's create a new folder. And let's call this number guesser. And we're going to open this with code, Visual Studio Code. Okay, let's make this smaller. And let's create our file. So basically, again, we just need an index.html and we need an app.js. Okay, so in the index.html, I'm actually going to use Emmet here. I'm going to use an exclamation and then tab, and that'll give us a basic structure. And then I'm going to grab the link tag for the skeleton CSS file and paste that right in there. All right, so that's it. We can go ahead and we don't need this page anymore. And let's change the title here. We'll change it to number guesser. Not a very creative name, but that's fine. So let's save this and then let's open it with our server with live server or you can just open the HTML file doesn't matter. And there it is. Okay, so it's just a blank page so far. Now the UI is going to be very, very simple. We're going to just have a container. Okay, skeleton uses a container class to push everything uh, give it some margin auto and then we're going to have an h1 we'll say number guesser okay under that h1 we're going to have an id of game div with an id of game basically wrap the whole thing we're going to have a paragraph and we're going to say guess a number 
between. Now, when we say between something and something, these are going to be dynamic values that we're going to we're going to it's going to be inserted from JavaScript. But for now, um, we're just going to put fixed numbers, but we want to surround them in a span. So this will be a span with the class of min dash num like that. And then I'm just going to put a num. I'm just going to put a one in here. But later on, they'll be generated through JavaScript. Then we want to put the word and and then another span with the class of max dash num. OK, and I'll put a 10 in there. OK, let's make this let's close this up. All right, so there's our paragraph. Let's go ahead and save it. So it should look like this. All right, now underneath the paragraph, we're going to want to put an input with the type of number. Okay, it's not going to need a name. For the ID, we're going to put guess dash input. All right, and then we'll put a placeholder and we'll say enter your guess. All right, underneath that, we're going to have our submit. So we're going to have an input with the type of submit. And for the value, we'll say submit. And then we just want to give this an ID of guess dash value. OK, now underneath that input, we're going to have a paragraph with the class of message. And it's not going to have anything in it. This is where we're going to insert the message from our JavaScript. OK, so it'll say if it's wrong or correct or whatever, whatever the message may be. And that's it. So we'll save that. That's our user interface. Now we just want to include our app.js script. All right. Save that. And now we have our interface. So in the next video, we'll start to implement the JavaScript.